Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, for Devin Wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the finals. Exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, ready. or referee for this show. Ready. Good. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Use your right, use your right. Nice kick to the body. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Fast pace here in the early going. Nice counter left hook. The high kick lands. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Stay sharp. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, 
Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And the kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Nice uppercut on the inside there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Snapping off that jab. Get fourth, we go. Straight punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Swing and a miss by Lee. Under two minutes now to go. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice inside low kick. Yeah. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Strong kick there. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight. Oh, oh he is stunned trying to recover here. Good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Quick jab lands. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Kick checked by Lee. Straight punch is good. Final seconds here in round one. Five minutes in the books. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go, our next player. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Number. Clean with the right hook. There's another one. Chase that finish down now. Oh, he connects there. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? And that spinning kick found its home up top. Nice punch to the head. Oh, great block there. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Oh, short uppercut of the clinch by Lee. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh! Oh, that so a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cleared found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh! Good throw back. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Oh, and a cut just opened up on his forehead. Under two minutes now to go. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice body shot. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's opposite. Follows up with another one. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside. Otherwise, well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Uh, all right, that's the end of round number two. Uh, uh, uh. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead. The blood is trickling down. So we'll see if that becomes an issue or more of a factor here later in this fight. This round, we're going to be smart. I want you to cut angles. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All 
right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just out of range with that left hook. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Back and forth we go. back kick there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Ooh. Nice leg kick. He's going after the head. Oh, straight punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just over two minutes now to go. Out of range with that kick attempt. Lee's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Nice block. Oh, huge knee to the head. Big roundhouse now just misses. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. There's that side kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Do not back up. Let's go. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive. Oh! Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to
to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. That knee might have landed there. Oh! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Leg kick lands. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and right to the target. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that finish. Knee to the body. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another punch to the head. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating. Look at the body, and those shots are going to count. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Four for that jab. Jab lands. And as it should have been tested early. Beautiful kick lands there. Got the single collar tie. Nice uppercut. Right on the button. Not there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Another nice combination to the head. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, nice. Well, there it is again. He seems to be fighting through the damage pretty well. Oh, man. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. Oh! Well, nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Lee. Beautiful. Right, 
So the body attacks continue to be the story in this fight and looking really bad at this point in time, DC. Toughness only goes so far. And, and why do we have to rely on the toughness? I think right now we are in a position where the team has to start taking a look, where the official has to start taking a look, because sometimes you got to save the fighter from themselves. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to Nothing. There are no more questions. In oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. Uh, going in the fight. Uh, 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. He is spectacular. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. It is the fifth and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, huge spinning kick. Big left hand and a knee. Big shots. Oh! Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, man. That bruising on the calf is a sight to behold. Seems like the referee may be even closing the distance a little bit now. Well, the work has been done. His opponent came in here with a game plan to lose that as his primary weapon. He's been successful. What a game plan put together by this team. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a little... Oh! He hurt him again. Well, thank God the left one's open, because that right eye is really starting to shut. With conviction to the body. Oh, just out of range with that punch attack. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So I'm no analyst, but this fighter is completely out of gas, hasn't managed his tank well at all, and to compound matters, he's getting cooked on the scorecards. I mean, he is... With authority, the body. Superman punch lands. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Let's go. Great job setting up that high kick. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, that's big. late the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Sniff that 
one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going there. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Great commitment to the kicking game. 20 seconds left. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. The Ladies official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce rounds, We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all